All right, listen up, dick breath. I got another story to tell you. So I had this friend who used to live here, out here in Albuquerque, and used to hang out at his place a lot. Well, he was a he was a firefighter. He used to go out into the wilderness and dig trenches or some shit. I don't really know. But he was gone for weeks at a time. One of the times that uh, that he was gone, there was a uh, uh, his his roommate, which was his girlfriend, and then this other lady. She was a fucking dog. They had a, they had a few guests over, and uh, I was I was one of those said guests. There was a good amount of us a uh, good amount of us in there, just hanging out, drinking, having a good time. Uh, I got late, I got sleepy, passed out in the bedroom. So uh, when I woke up from my slumber, it was about uh, two a.m., maybe three a.m., and I hear some disturbing sounds coming from the living room. So so I walked out to the living room, and w what do you know? There's just a, a a nice little group sex party going on. And you know, the most fucked up part was, is that the people who were there fucking weren't there before I went to bed. They weren't the people who were at the original party. Some people left and these new people showed up and just started banging. I was fucking baffled. I went out there and it was, it was gross. The, these were gross people, all right? Not, not the kind of people you wanted to see banging each other. I breathed through my mouth just to avoid any, uh, any unwanted stench infiltrating my nostrils. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? I, I tried to just kind of make it to the door. I had to walk past all them. And uh, one of them tried to grab my hand and pull me in. I had to yank myself out. I was like, oh, <laughs> nope, good, we're good. The, it was, uh, so there was, uh, there was people, they were banging on a futon, okay? Uh, this futon that, you know, I, I used to crash on from time to time. And, and there was one guy who was just sitting there at the edge of the futon, fully clothed, just watching. Like, very intently watching. Like, he was not even a foot away from the action, just in there. Just like this, just staring. Apparently, the story with him was that uh, his dick don't work, and he couldn't fuck, but he liked watching, so they just let him. S some, some fucking weird shit. Yeah, my friend's girlfriend, she was also asleep. She wasn't a part of this disgusting fucking mess of nasty bodies clashing on the futon. Oh, man. I could, oh. And it's like, I knew some of these people. I saw them from, you know, the karaoke bar I would frequent. You know, just chilling. They were they were a karaoke couple. So, so, yeah, I just got out of there. Didn't look back. It was, it was fucked. It was scarring. And then my friend came back after after a couple weeks, and he just didn't know. I eventually told him, of course. I was like, yo, you ever hear about that time people banged on your couch while you were gone? He he wasn't too happy about that. Um, but it was it was funny. It was good times. And that was, that's, that's, that's the story. I'm just going to go now. I'm going to disappear. And then I'll just edit it so it looks like I disappeared.